Hello, 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 I'm Philip Magnus and I'm back with some more of the wonderful, ever-loving, lovely-looking Dishonored. This time I'm about to assassinate, or otherwise make disappear, the Lady Boyle. The Boyle costume ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready? With a mask like mine? Sure am, old boy. See? Just the best choice for wear when it comes to going to a mask ball. <laughs> I will quite enjoy this, to be honest. Great, the Lord Regent's pulling out all the stops for the Boyle family. I didn't think there'd be tall boys patrolling here tonight. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. The good news is, once you get to the party, that mask of yours will let you blend right in. Enjoy your evening out with folk of quality. Better you than me. Folk of quality, yeah. Indeed. I shall be sure to rob them blind. <laughs> let us see first. Oh, a bone charm. And rune and a bone charm. I think we must most certainly go this way first. Right, only a few rats around. Oh, let's go with possession, eh? I think I will possess a rat and go this way. Because why the hell not? I believe that it's as easy as this. Now, now. If memory serves correctly, there will be an outsider shrine right about here. My poor darling Empress, you and me both. Going to a party, Corvo? Is that what you dreamed of? All those months in Cold Ridge Prison while waiting for the executioner? Well, Beautiful women in the latest fashion. Oh yes, a party Laughing, and a beautiful woman wine. on my hand. The host, Lady Boyle. I can see all her tomorrows, and I know that either she dies tonight at your hand, or she'll live out her days, month after month, year after year, far away, even as her fine clothes wear into tatters and her silken hair gets dull and grey. Half Silken the city hair. can see the lights from the party, and they dream of the delights inside. Will you tear it all to pieces? Either way, it's Lady Boyle's last party. I will not lie. I feel for her. Not, not much. Oh, Granny Rag's diary. How unexpected. How lovely. I'm going to read all of it. I can't trust him. You can't love what you don't trust. That's a song the birdies sing when the weather turns cold and forces them out of their nice homes they built. Nice homes spoiled, spoiled and ruined. Useless now. So the birdies hate the weather that betrayed them. They fly away to look for new homes that aren't so cold and dreary, dreary, dreary. I'm leaving too. My valise is packed so dreary everywhere I look. I can't bear it anymore. I say I did pretty well on the reading part. Oh. How did you not notice me before? Hello, my darling. Still alive? Well, not for long. You were sick anyway, so surely you don't hold this against me. <laughs> a bird and a corpse. My two favorite things, birds and corpses. Except for sparrows. I hate sparrows. Oh, all the clicking. You do? How? Did you hear the gunshots? 
Probably. When I find you, it's gonna be nice. Yeah, I should have been quiet. Oh my. Well, I do believe I'll be making my way down now, if you do not mind, sir. Oh, come now. Alright. That is good enough, I suppose. Still looking for me, dear boy? Probably. Now, if I recall correctly... Yes, indeed. A rune in what appears to be the river, and a bone charm in what appears to be, most certainly, a house. Well, the house shall have to do. First the house, then the other thing. Right. And all the while, making sure not to be seen. Unseen by all. That's how I like to be. Good. I think I did well. Now, let's see. Oh my, so many sick people. Ah, oh, you really shouldn't have taken the stairs up, dear. Can't say that I did not warn you. I will leave your disease-ridden comrades with their pulses still beating poisonous blood in their hearts. After all, I am not known to be unmerciful. <laughs> okay, maybe I am, but that's besides the point, really. Hello. Oh, it's just medicinal herbs. It's alright, they can be useful as well. Let's see. Well, oh, great. Some much needed coin for my upgrades. And so on and so forth. And even more processed well oil. Well, I never say no to my processed well oil. Now, the question is, can I make my way... Huh? Can I, can I go here? Oh! How wonderfully secretive! Guard quarters key needed. Oh my. Oh, there are many, there are multiple lady boils, I suppose. Very well, unfortunately, I'm not yet done with this here portion of the estate. Or rather, of the mission. It's not a part of the estate, really. Details, details. But details are important, I should say. Always, always important. Whoa, 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 whoa. Go back. I, 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 I. Ah. Uh. Well, at least. Oh no. He is going to see me, isn't he? What if I do that? Oh! How nice of you. Thank you, Zira. And good day. I will say that I am terribly practical. Right now, anyway. Hmm. Let's see where that room was. 17 meters away. Excellent, excellent. We should be there at once. And then up to this here guard post and into the fray. Politics, nobility, all the usual. Hello, darling. I have much need of you this day. Fortunately, I appear unable. To use blink in that direction, so I will have to take my time and pass through here. But it's okay. It's so fine. Now I do believe 
I will not need my blade for this. Alright. Interesting. Very interesting. I could have sworn that there was some sort of an invitation my way. No matter. Perhaps this here nice guardman. I'm just doing my job. Yeah. And I unfortunately cannot possess you. Because I do not have enough runes, do I? Let me see. Possession? Oh! But I can. Oh, the delight I feel right now. <gasps> oh no! Well, that was absolutely weird. Apologies, my good sir. Now, I do believe there must be a way to get into the party from here. And an elixir, well, we're at it. Why not? Gatehouse key, excellent, excellent. Medicinal herbs. Oh, lovely. I'm not ringing the alarm bell for obvious reasons. And I honestly have no reason to reward it either. The exquisite tall boy. Excerpt from a letter of public concern by anonymous authors. What you've read here is the truth, regardless of what you will hear from the authorities who rule over us. It is not a matter of coincidence that the former royal spymaster is the one who stepped in when the late empress fell. We who will remain nameless believe that these events are interconnected. The signs of oppression are all around us. The circle of designs originally intended to provide light and warmth in our homes have been turned against us as a means of inspiring fear and controlling our movements through the city. And where did this plague originate? Some say it was imported. A wild theory? Perhaps. One of our members risked her life to obtain an internal report from the government, which we will be printing and sharing soon, called The Exquisite Tall Boy, extolling the virtues of this newest member of the City Watch. To those industries below, these virtues are horrors spread by stilted thugs who rain down fire on the sick and the poor. To these eyes, the Tall Boy is another government bully armed with incendiary devices, stickly armoured and standing high overhead, looking down at the common people of the city. We, know, we now know that the tall boys are heavily drugged, imbibing a substance that renders them resistant to pain, but as dulls whatever empathy they might normally possess. Exquisite? We think not. Copy these words and share them with your neighbours. And remember, when the tides are lowest, the truth will be revealed. What a wonderful piece of text. I would almost go as far as to call it a piece of rebel propaganda. But hey. Welcome, sir. Thank oh, you. We have a game tonight. Esma, Lydia and Waverly are wearing identical costumes in white, black and red. You'll have to work out which of your hosts is wearing which color. Good luck. Why, thank you. This is going to be so much fun. Oh my, that's wicked. Who made that mask for you? It's exactly I'll like tell you if you turn around and close that's your eyes. To Paul over the whole evening. I think I'm starting to enjoy myself. Indeed, you are, good sir. How about your pouch? Oh, only 25 gold coins. Both of you must be horribly poor. In a horrible company to me. To <laughs> this time. Oh. You, stop that. 
I will. Thank you, sir. Yes, I will stop that and get warm immediately. The Boyles hope you have a wonderful time tonight. I'm sure they do. And you have a lovely moustache. You maybe you're the twin brother of the guy I just killed a few minutes ago. Oh well. Sorry for for your loss. Careful. I mean, we tried to repeat not that. And the man on duty is an ass. I should have taught him some manners. This party is a sham. I'm sure he's just doing his job. A party like this, anyone might have crept in. Excuse me, my cousin is a marquis. Oh, he is. How good for him. I thought her interests were confined to her family. I think she ran out of family a while ago. What's it all about? And how do you know this? My servants heard it from hers, naturally. They were sexual rights, I can only assume. Oh my, sexual rights. In her own nephew's blood. Oh. What sort of hygiene is that? It's a mm, the best. Outside. It keeps the skin all fresh and lovely. Like baby bottom. Fun fact, babies are also based in blood. Makes you wonder if those rituals work. What happened to the boy? I hear he enjoyed himself very much for a while. Until his blood was used f to um, do something, like uh, maybe wash her hair, you know, anything. Welcome to my party. I don't believe you've had the pleasure. I'm afraid not, madam. And I do not believe you've been assassinated tonight, but this will also change. Well, old closet key. What nonsense is that? Do you have the key? No. Very well, I shall go a looking for it. Welcome to the Boyle estate. Thank you, sir. I'm sure I will do my best to kill you now or later. Oh, madam. A gentleman? I'll have you know I'm as gentle as Go ahead, help yourself. I take everything I can carry. <laughs> They'll never miss it. Indeed they will not. Did I did I I will. Absolutely. You don't look familiar. And you... And you have a well on your head. This is not hygienic. Thank you, madam. And you're a gigantic bug. Oh, of course I will. I'm obviously an assassin, just in... As a hobby, my actual job is a waiter. If something caused this, it's not the Empress's passing. That's what they want you to think. Excuse me. What mischief are you up I am up to no good. All kinds of mischief, really. I wonder if Ebenezer Cooper is courting. Some of us. Excuse me. Is it been long enough? I'm excusing all of you for many, many moments. I will, madam. Now tell me. How can I thank you? Are you playing Lady Boyle's guessing game? Well, I know for a fact that Waverly's in white tonight. Perhaps she's pretending to be a virgin. I doubt it. In red. Lydia's in red. Lovely. So the third one is in black. I do not remember her name, nor do I need to, probably. I mean, who needs names?